Welcome to this explainer video on the STM32 Nucleo 2-axis motor control expansion board using ARM Embed Environment. This expansion board enables you to drive two low-voltage stepper motors at the same time and is intended for applications like 3D printing. We are going to explain how to get your application running in the ARM Embed Environment. The first half of the video will focus on the software setup and the second half will detail the hardware functionality available. Now, connect the two stepper motors to the expansion board. Then, connect a low voltage supply. In this case, we use a 12 volt battery. Then you can connect the STM32 Nucleo board to a PC using a mini USB cable. And then, you are ready to power on. The board is automatically detected and seen as a disk drive. Now connect to the ARM developer.embed.org website and log in with your credentials. Click on Hardware, then Components, and select Motor under the Actuators category. Click on XNucleo IHM02A1 2-axis stepper motor driver and find the Hello World IHM02A1 application example on the next page then import it into the online compiler. Open the main program and choose the desired target platform. Add a new one if needed. At this point, build the application and download it on the Nucleo board. After completing download or when pressing the black button on the Nucleo board, the application will reset and start. This simple application shows how to run two stepper motors forward and backward, storing the current position as a reference home position and returning to it, and playing with the micro steps and the speed. At www.st.com slash x dash nucleo, under the reference XNucleo IHM02A1, you can find user manuals, quick start guides, bill of materials, and lots of other detailed documentation to help you on your way to building your application. And now for some details about the STM32 Nucleo 2-axis stepper motor expansion board. It includes a fully integrated micro-stepping motor driver with motion engine and SPI, a step-down switching regulator, which goes up to 3 amps, and a low drop power shot key rectifier. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. We hope it helps you get well on the way to your dream application.